Welcome back to another Inventor tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at drawing other objects or other solids onto existing solids or objects. Uh, we're going to be looking at how we go about that to make sure that they keep as a separate individual solid um, and that are also linked or at least uh, you know parametric and linked constrainted to the other objects. So if we do change one object then the other object uh, will change with it. So, uh, so let's jump on in and see where we end up. Uh, done a basic sketch, uh, just um, nothing too uh, serious. It's just to show how we can actually draw uh, and we can actually model solids on top of solids. So basic sketch here, I'm just going to finish the sketch um, and then I'm going to extrude this perimeter here. Um, I'll make it uh, 100 mil um, and click OK. So uh, we've got this shape and now what we want to do is we want to put a basic uh, lid and a bottom on it. Um, the bottom will be integral to this shape and then the lid will be a separate solid object. So we'll start with the bottom. So I'll just revolve all the way or rotate all the way around to the bottom. And then what I'll do is I'm going to click uh, to start a 2D sketch and I'm going to come over and I'm going to find the highlighted surface that I want to uh, create the sketch on. And so I found that I'll just left click. Um, and then what I can do is I can project the outside geometry around uh, which will give us uh, the shape and it will basically project it from the object below it. So uh, I'm going to come over to this icon here which should say project geometry. If not, have a in the drop down you've got some other options. It might be on project cut edge uh, but we just want the for the moment just the project the geometry. And we're just going to go around and select uh, the geometry that we want to project. And as you can see, it turns yellow uh, when we've got the, when we've actually selected the geometry. Um, once we're happy with that, we can just very simply finish the sketch. And you can now see that we've got this uh, sketch six here um, and it's projected uh, from the original uh, the original sketch which has then become an extrusion and we've then projected that geometry through. Um, so we can now extrude that geometry um, 800 I'm going to drop it down to just 5 mil um, and this is the bottom so we want this to be part of an integral to the rest of the object or the rest of the solid body so I'm going to join it in the output section of this uh, pop-up. Uh, when we're happy, just click OK, left click, and then we'll rotate round. And we're going to do exactly the same now. Um, and we're going to start a 2D sketch. And we're going to do the same on the top this time. We're going to project the perimeter geometry that we want. Just go round. Like so. Once we're happy, we finish the sketch and we can come across and we can extrude it again. But this time we want the output to give us a, a new solid. So in the output, we want a new solid. We'll still keep the uh, distance, the extrusion distance 5 mil, and uh, the new we'll select a new solid. Once we've selected that, we'll click OK. Um, and there we have our. Uh, box basically with a lid on it. Um, on the tree we've got the four, three extrusions that we've done. The base, so the top, the base and then the original extrusion. And within solid bodies we've actually got two solid bodies, uh, the lid and the whole of the uh, other, uh, the whole of the uh, box uh, below it. 
Um, now, what's really interested in this is, is that if we come over to extrusion, our first extrusion, which is linked to our primary uh, sketch and double click on our primary sketch, it gives us the opportunity to edit. So if, um, if we come and select a piece of, uh, one of the pieces of geometry and just move it slightly, um, and maybe we'll just change the shape of the corner here a bit, like so. Uh, when we finish the sketch, it will update all of the uh, the model, all the solid objects, all the uh, different extrusions, because the uh, other sketches have been uh, projected from this original sketch, so they are they are linked together. And there you go, you could see the update. Uh, this section got fatter. Um, if I hold uh, hide and turn the visibility of the the lid off. You can see that this edge here, we also amended this geometry and changed this geometry. It's now got fatter. Um, so that's, it's really, uh, this whole project geometry is really, really useful when uh, uh, working with other solids that we want to link to um, other parts of the drawing. So that it's really, really useful. And there's, we'll go into more detail on other elements of project geometry in later tutorials. So, so that's the end of this tutorial. I uh, hope it's been useful and uh, look out for some more coming.